Hello everyone, here with a video. This is strictly on bookings. I've seen a lot of teachers, um, especially new teachers, get a little confused over how to um, handle this page. So I thought I'd just do a uh, quick video on how to do your bookings. Um, I'll be obviously doing a lot of these kinds of videos in the upcoming weeks, basically because I'm new as well and I'm also figuring things out as I go. So please remember to subscribe and uh, we can look at this together. Uh, feel free to, to leave your comments below and if you have any questions, you know, we can try to look for the answers together. So when you are um, hired and you get access to your teacher portal, here is your bookings page. So uh, you have a um, number of tabs up here. Um, overall, this tab is where you set your available times. So right now I have nothing open. This is for the week of April 6 to 12. Um, let's just check out this tab quickly. Operation log. It just basically shows you what you opened, when you opened it and what it is. So for example, March 20th, I made a change here. This is the scheduled time, uh, local time and time in China, um, what I did. So I opened a slot. So if you ever need to check, um, you know, did I open the slot or you know what happened here, you can go on this page to see. And it, it goes back to from when you actually first started opening and closing slots and changing your availability. So it goes all the way to, uh, to the beginning. And I have total records of 591 and I just started um, this in mid-February of 2020. Booking requests, I have not received any yet. But basically, if there are any parents who want to book your future time slots, they will send a request and it will show up here for you. So I have no examples to show you because I haven't had any booking requests. But uh, if you do, they will show up here and you'll have the option to accept or decline. So I do most of my stuff in this page. So I'm going to open up a fresh um, page because it defaulted to the current week. So this is a page without any slots opened or closed. Obviously, these are the hot times. Um, so they're very popular with uh, parents. So if you hover, there's nothing. It's all locked. You'll see a, a little white lock there. So to make any changes, you have to click this little lock up here. So now everything's opened up. So you check your availability. Um, if you're okay to open slots overnight, if you prefer to work 12 a.m. to 5.30 a.m., just open up all these slots, even though they're not hot times. So if you want to open it, you just click the slot and you select course and it'll show that you are available. If you select this short notice, the classes can be booked up to one hour before class begins. Now be very careful with this because I've heard that people have had classes show up um, 10 minutes before the start time. So I just keep on checking. If I open a short notice slot, I'm always checking for notifications and checking the page to see if I got booked. So I'm just gonna close it. So you change your mind, you just click the close and it's gone. So for me, I usually open slots in the mornings, the earliest at six, um, all the way to 8.30, depending on my own work schedule, because I have another full-time job. Um, I'll open up slots on the weekend and I'll open up slots um, in the evening as well. So you can only open up from 8.30 onwards to 11.30. Um, and the hot times are usually Friday and Saturday nights. So what you do, you basically just go through, if you're available to teach at this time, you just click it. If you're available, say uh, Monday morning, you can just go through and click all these slots, make yourself available. If you're okay with having it short notice, just click the short notice button and it will appear as short notice, just like that. And just note that this, the weeks start Monday to Sunday and it's not, it doesn't go Sunday first, so just in case if you're used to seeing a Sunday here, it's actually Monday to Sunday. Um, so I'm just going to close that. And when you hover over it, it'll show the Beijing time and then your own local time. So I'm going to close these. So in case you change your mind, just close, click, click the close button and it'll change back. 
So I don't when I, after I set it, I don't usually click the lock button again. The changes usually usually save, but if you want to make sure that it's there, just click it again and it's locked up. The reason they have this lock here is that you don't accidentally, you know, you're scrolling and then you click something and then you open up a slot that you didn't intend to, and then it gets booked and then you didn't know uh, you're going to get stuck with the teacher no show. So there are a couple of other buttons here. Um, so here is the number of slots that you've opened up and the numbers that, that have been booked. So zero out of zero, I didn't open any slots, I didn't get any booked. Um, here's slot data, if you just click that, it'll show you for this uh, time range or this date range, uh, how many slots you opened and how many got booked. And my bookings have been a little sparse, obviously I've only had nine booked in between March 22nd and April 5th. This one is self-explanatory. If, if your schedule is steady, all you do is copy last week's um, you know, slots you had last week, and then you can just submit it, and then those just start copying exactly what you had the, the previous week to the current week. If you ch click Change Availability, here's where you can put in a date range. So if you're going on vacation, for example, um, you know, you're, you're, you're going away for a week or something, you can put in your, the time that you're away and then just select your dates here and select the reason, vacation, sick leave, personal reason, maternity leave, natural disaster, other. Um, and then once you submit it, um, they'll be able to see, uh, you know, you're away for this period of time and you're not available to be booked. So basically that's it. I can go to the uh, previous, we can show you kind of what it looks like when it's all filled out. So I have um, updated up my availability here. I'm available on all these days. I selected these as short notice. Um, these slots, sometimes you'll see interested students, two interested students. So there are two students that are interested to book it. If you open it up, they can potentially book it. It doesn't mean that they will book it. Um, so I've got interested students at 5.30, but that's too early for me. So I'm not gonna be opening those. Um, and then I have work during these times, so I can't open it. These are the latest times I can go on these days. So as you can see here, I got booked for one class. So out of, I got booked one out of four opened slots. So it'll show up here. And here I opened up 11 slots and only got booked one. One out of 11 slots were booked. So here's the bookings page. Um, you also have your time zone here. You can change this in your account information. Otherwise, it'll just show wherever you are. So I'm in Canada, Eastern time, uh, your show name, your profile picture. Um, everything's here on your bookings page. Um, so I hope that clears it up a little bit for you. Um, I'll try to do some other videos on maybe other parts of this portal, but I assume that this will be the, the page that you're going to use the most. Um, so I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please remember to subscribe. Um, you can also leave me any comments below and I will reply to them. Thank you so much. Bye now.